Last week, thousands of flights were delayed across the country, and not because of weather. Air traffic controllers missed their first full paycheck during the government shutdown, and the effects are spreading fast. More delays are being reported nationwide, and at over 10 major airports, including Dallas, Los Angeles, and Newark, departures and even arrivals have been temporarily halted because of staffing shortages. And depending on where you get your news, you might not have even heard about it. That's exactly why I use Ground News. It's a news comparison platform that gathers and compares reporting from over 50,000 sources worldwide, so you can see how each side covers the same event and stay fully informed. Since the shutdown story broke, Ground News has tracked coverage from over 180 outlets, with 70% coming from politically centered sources, and 97% rated as highly factual. But here's what's interesting. The divide in coverage wasn't about the delays or safety concerns. It was about who's to blame for the shutdown, and that matters, because bias often hides in what's left out, not just what's said. With ground news, you get situational awareness for the news, just like pilots need situational awareness in the cockpit. My favorite feature is the blind spot feed. It highlights stories that only one side of the political spectrum is talking about. That's how you spot what you're not seeing, so you don't get caught flying blind. Right now, ground news is offering my viewers 40% off their unlimited access vantage plan. The same plan I use. Click the link in the description, go to ground.news slash Captain Steve, or scan the QR code to subscribe today and discover your co-pilot for clearer news. Special thanks to Ground News for being such an incredible sponsor and partner of this channel and the reporting we do. I really mean it when I say that they have helped us to bring more content to you. But moving forward, let's talk about what actually happened. All right, because this is stranger than truth, all right? To date, on the evidence available to the AAIA, they have established this. The aircraft was uh, dispatched with a minimum equipment list item uh, 